For many, his heroism may fly in the shadow of Billy Bishop, but today it is First World War ace William Barker. We're talking about Canada's most decorated war hero ever, and he will be remembered and acknowledged publicly. If you've never heard of him, you're going to learn more about him, but here's an overview of why he's a hero. He downed more than 50 enemy aircraft. In one dogfight, Barker was shot three times while battling alone against 15 German planes. That earned him the Victoria Cross, one of many decorations he received. Later today in Toronto, as I said, a special honor for William Barker, a tribute that's long overdue in the eyes of many. His grandson is with me here in our studio in Toronto, Ian McKenzie, and thank you for coming in. Congratulations on this day. Well, thank you very much, and I'm very happy to be Big here. Big day for the family, I'm sure. As I mentioned, that introduction is clear. Unfortunately, most people watching us won't know about your grandfather, William Barker. So teach us a little more about his heroism in the First World War. Well, you know, he's best known for his VC exploit that you mentioned when he engaged in this epic air battle, which is still legendary in, in the annals of, of aerial warfare. Fifteen Germans against him. Right. Uh, well, something like that. I mean, it's been, it's been, some have claimed as high as 60. That's clearly an embellishment. But uh, when, you, when you're outnumbered uh, by even five or six or 10 or 15, it, uh, you have a cloud of enemies surrounding you firing machine gun bullets in from all angles and basically no one ever survived that and uh, but you know he did and he shot down uh, four of them um, but in a way it wasn't really his greatest accomplishment it brought him Victoria Cross and his fame but it was also a, a defeat it was the first time he'd ever made a mistake huh. and he never talked about it afterwards he didn't want to talk about it. he was in a way he was ashamed of it because he'd kind of screwed up he'd never been shot down before really? And I think what I, I think we should be most proud of him for is the fact that during the last year of combat, not a single pilot under his command or a single airplane under his escort was brought down by the enemy. Really? And that oh, is wow. a remarkable record for that war. He was like a mother hen, and his men adored him. He was a team player. A lot of the other aces flew off on their own looking for uh, kills to, to up their, their, uh, the score, uh, their score. Yeah, but he didn't do that. He, he wanted to keep his boys alive, and he did. And that, for me, was the thing I'm most proud of. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And the Victoria Cross we've mentioned decorated 12 times, which I've been saying the most in Canada, but the most in the Commonwealth. I mean, that's extraordinary. Yes. Uh, we, he, uh, well, he had, he had actually 12 uh, awards for valor. Uh, and uh, the, the nearest uh, in history of the British Empire. And uh, the nearest uh, contender got uh, seven awards for, for valor. That's really so, something. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, was, he died at 35. And it's part of why we don't know him. We'll talk about that in a second. But he died at 35 in a plane crash. The scene at his funeral, I don't even think we can imagine. How many people attended? Well, they say that there were some 50,000 people lining the route of the cortege, which went down St. Clair Avenue and all the way down to Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Remarkable. Yeah. Where he's buried now, in, in his wife's family crypt. Yes. So there's just a little sign there. It says Smith. No one even knew. Yeah. <laughs> Today, yeah. the acknowledgement uh, with this monument. And you've written the inscription that's going to be on a plaque. What did, what did you write? Well, uh, let me try to recall exactly what I wrote. Uh, yeah. William George Barker, V.C., his date, 1894 to 1930, most decorated war hero in the history of Canada, the British Empire, and the Commonwealth of Nations. And then the list of his awards, all 12 of them. Okay. And the text uh, was born in a log cabin in Manitoba. He entered the Great War as a simple soldier. He soon joined the Royal Flying Corps. He rose in rank and fame until he became so skilled that during his last year of combat, not one pilot under his command or one airplane under his escort was lost to the enemy. By war's end, he had downed 50 enemy aircraft. His fellow ace, Billy Bishop, would call him the greatest air fighter who ever lived. Now, we always think of Billy Bishop, of course, because your grandfather died so young and Billy Bishop continued to just to flourish and he's overshadowed him in reputation, yeah. but he did consider him the greatest ever and that was high praise. Right. Having this acknowledgement today, what does it mean to your family? Well, it, it kind of fulfills a duty too because, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of correcting the sins of our forefathers because our... Uh, <laughs> Our great-grandfather Smith and our grandmother, his widow, should never have squirreled him away in this dark little crypt. 
uh, with the, you can't, if, if you're going to put a name on the door of an anonymous crypt, I mean, Smith is about the best name you could come up with, and that's the name on the crypt. For all these years, nearly 100 years. It's, well, it's actually 81 years yeah. since his, 81 and a half years since, since the right. funeral. So, you know, what they should have done, the decent thing to have done would have been to put him outside in a, in a public memorial uh, where everyone could come and see. And so now, well, there was discussion of, of reinterment, but we decided the best solution was to put a monument outside on the steps of the mausoleum with directions inside. To there. Yeah. And that is happening today, yeah. yes. correcting the rights of, uh, of long overdue, uh, I guess, ignominious. We've ignored him for a little bit, but yes. now today, finally getting that acknowledgement and, and yes. deserving. Yeah. Just before you go. Yeah. Terrific book about your grandfather by Wayne Ralph. And uh, let's just hold that up if anyone wants to learn more about someone they don't know enough about, William Barker, VC. Yes. Thanks a lot. Okay. Enjoy the day. You're Congratulations welcome. to your family, Ian McKenzie. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Okay.